Hey guys, in this video we're gonna be checking out the 10 best 308 rifles. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on quality, durability, price and more. For more information on the mentioned products and the actual prices check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. Savage MSR 10 Hunter Semi-Automatic Tactical Rifle Overall Best Semi-Automatic Savage is fairly new to the R10 market, but their Savage MSR 10 Hunter Semi-Automatic Tactical Rifle has so far proven to be an excellent platform. It's built around a fluted 16-inch barrel, which tends to be better for short and medium-range shooting. The fluting helps keep the barrel cool during rapid fire, and the barrel length makes the rifle easy to handle. Even though the barrel might be a tad short, you can still push your rounds pretty far with this rifle. The barrel is fitted with a muzzle brake and mated to a mid-length gas system. These two features combine to make the recoil impulse smooth and minimal. It's easy to get follow-up shots on target with this rifle. The barrel is shrouded with a free float m loke handguard that's got attachment points for adding accessories wherever you want them. And, there's a full-length Picatinny rail for mounting your favorite optic or iron sights. Lastly, this model is fitted with an Axiom carbine stock. The main feature of this stock is the thick, honeycombed recoil pad that really takes the sting out of the .308 recoil. In the end, this isn't the gun for hunters and extreme long-range enthusiasts. But, if you're looking for a tactical .308 rifle that offers surprising performance for the price, this is the rifle for you. The biggest advantages are, ideal barrel length for short and medium range shooting, muzzle brake and mid-length gas system deliver very smooth recoil impulse, free float m loc handguard, Axiom carbine stock offers excellent recoil absorption. There is however one disadvantage, it's not ideal for long range shooting. Savage Arms 10 FCPHS Precision Rifle, Overall Best Bolt Action the Savage Arms 10 FCPHS Precision Rifle has all the features to be a solid tactical rifle. However, it's versatile enough to be a capable hunting rifle, as well. First, the basics. The barrel is 24 inches long, and constructed from carbon steel. And, the barrel is mated to a carbon steel receiver, which makes a super rigid platform. The barrel is built with a heavy profile to minimize barrel whip and maximize precision. On the other end, there's the Savage AccuTrigger, which is user adjustable. The trigger can be set in whatever weight you need to get clean shots. And, the trigger has almost no creep or over travel, and the brake is exceptionally clean. It's easy to keep your crosshairs on target all the way through your trigger press. Some shooters don't like the safety tab on the trigger, but it enables you to set the trigger to a very low pull weight without compromising the drop safety of your rifle. All the metal is set in a polymer stock with a high comb, so you can get a clean cheek weld and perfect sight picture. And, there's a swivel stud for a bipod. The heavy barrel makes this rifle a tad hefty. It weighs 9.6 pounds. It's not much heavier than comparable rifles, but, it's not a featherweight. Even though it might be on the heavy side, it's still an excellent rifle that will put round on target in any conditions, for any type of shooting. The biggest advantages are, heavy profile barrel for maximum precision, carbon steel barrel and receiver, adjustable trigger, polymer stock with high cheek comb for excellent cheek weld, swivel stud for a bipod. There is however one disadvantage, a bit heavy. Ruger American Rifle Bolt Action Rifle Budget 308 Rifle The Ruger American Rifle Bolt Action Rifle is built to deliver the most performance for the fewest dollars. This model is built around a 22-inch, cold hammer-forged barrel, which is free-floated in the stock. The barrel construction and length is ideal for extracting the most range from the .308 round. Additionally, the trigger is adjustable from 3 to 5 pounds. The adjustment range is decent. However, more discerning shooters may wish for a slightly lighter adjustment option. And, the action is seated in aluminum bedding to ensure that everything is as rigid as possible. Overall, this rifle offers impressive precision for the price. It's easy to tell that accuracy is where Ruger invested the most resources. Inside, the bolt is a three-lug bolt, with a 70-degree throw that stays out of the way of your optic. So, it's easy to quickly and smoothly run your bolt between shots. The magazine is a flush-fit, rotary magazine that holds four rounds. The magazine is nothing special. But, it offers a smooth action. Some may find that the polymer stock is a bit simple or plain for their tastes, but, it gets the job done, and has a pretty thick recoil pad. This isn't a boutique precision rifle, but, it's priced incredibly well, and delivers outstanding performance for the money. The biggest advantages are, versatile, all-purpose barrel length, free-floated barrel and aluminum action bedding for exceptional accuracy, adjustable trigger, 70-degree bolt throw stays out of the way of your optic. Polymer stock has a thick recoil pad. There are however few disadvantages. Some may prefer a wider trigger adjustment range. Polymer stock may be a bit plain for some shooters' tastes. 
Bergara HMR Pro Premier Long Range 308 Rifle Bergara produces excellent and affordable precision rifles. The Bergara HMR Pro Premier is easily one of the best precision rifles for the money. Bergara built this model around a 20-inch barrel. It's a versatile length that's accurate enough for hunting and tactical shooting, but short enough that the rifle is easy to handle in most situations. However, long-range competitors may prefer a 22 or 24-inch barrel, but the barrel is threaded, so the slightly shorter length comes in handy if you plan to add a suppressor. The stock is completely polymer. It comes with an adjustable cheek rest, aluminum reinforcement for the action bed, and a free float forend for accuracy. It's a nicely adjustable and rigid platform that improves the native accuracy of the rifle and helps the shooter perform their best. The stock is paired with a TriggerTech trigger with frictionless release technology. The trigger really does have reduced friction. The take-up is super smooth and the brake is crisp. It's not a perfect trigger, but it will work well for all but the most demanding shooters. This model ships with a 5-round magazine. This is plenty for almost any bolt-action shooting context, and it's a detachable box magazine, so there are options for upgrading the magazine capacity. Unfortunately, there's no optic mounting rail. Some won't mind, but remember to get rings for your optic. Bergara focused on features that help the shooter perform better, rather than rifle specs. So, this is an excellent rifle for those just getting into extreme long-range shooting and tactical shooters. The biggest advantages are rigid polymer stock with adjustable cheek rest, free floated barrel, excellent trigger, 5-round magazine capacity. There are however few disadvantages. Barrel is a couple inches too short for super long-range shooting. No included muzzle device. No optic mounting rail. Springfield Armory M1AA1 Scout Squad Semi-Automatic Rifle 308 Battle Rifle The Springfield Armory M1AA1 Scout Squad Semi-Automatic Rifle is a modernized version of the beloved M14 rifle. It's an outstanding battle rifle that some military units use as a designated marksman rifle. This model is built with an 18-inch barrel. The barrel is parkerized carbon steel. The steel is exceptionally rigid, and the finish is more durable than a traditional blued finish but the finish is more prone to wear than other modern coatings. The barrel isn't great for extreme long-range shooting. However, this rifle is extremely easy to handle for a .308 rifle, which is why it's such a good battle rifle. And, the barrel is capped with a muzzle brake that helps reduce felt recoil, and makes it easier to hit your follow-up shots. On top, this model is fitted with iron sights with a rear aperture and front blade. There's also a short Picatinny rail for mounting an optic. However, the rail is short. You can't mount an optic wherever you please. This rifle is fitted with a two-stage trigger. The trigger is set at 5 to 6 pounds. It's a good tactical trigger weight. However, it's not great for precision shooting. So, you may need to do some additional work to hit those especially long shots. One thing about this model is that it retains most most of the classic design from the M14. One of the least ergonomic aspects of the M14 is the safety. It's got to be one of the least ergonomic safeties around. So, be ready for that. Even so, this is easily one of the best .308 battle rifles around. You can't go wrong. The biggest advantages are 18-inch barrel makes it remarkably easy to handle for a .308 rifle. Muzzle brake to reduce felt recoil. Fixed iron aperture sight. Two-stage trigger is set at a good tactical shooting pull weight. There are however few disadvantages. Picatinny rail is short and doesn't offer a lot of options for optic location. Five to six pound trigger may be a bit heavy for long-range precision. Daniel Defense Delta 5 Tactical Bolt Action Rifle Daniel Defense created the Daniel Defense Delta 5 as a modular precision rifle. This rifle is nearly as configurable as an R15. The .308 variant comes with a 20-inch barrel. This is best for shooting at hunting and tactical distances. It's accurate, but this rifle is not meant for extreme long-range shooting. Note that Daniel Defense also builds this rifle in 6.5 Creedmoor and 7mm Remington. So, if you want the .308 model, select .308 caliber, choose a 20-inch inch barrel, and the 39.5 inch overall length. These are the only sizes available for .308. Moving on, the stock is completely configurable. The length of pull is adjustable, there's an adjustable cheek rest. There are even m loc attachment points on the forend and bootstock. You can set this rifle up any way you want it. Interestingly, the barrel is not free-floated in the stock. Where this rifle really shines is in the trigger. The trigger is an adjustable, single-stage Timney Elite Hunter. The trigger adjusts from 1.5 to 4 pounds, and boasts one of the smoothest pulls and cleanest brakes in the industry. 
The trigger is smooth enough for precision at any distance. The receiver features an integrated optic rail and a 60-degree bolt throw, so you can fit any optic on your rifle without interfering with the action. This rifle takes AICS pattern magazines. This makes it easy to get more mags. The standard magazine holds 10 rounds, which is excellent for competition and tactical shooting. Overall, this is an excellent tactical or competition bolt action rifle right out of the box, and it comes at a really reasonable price. It's a great option for tactical and competition shooters and hunters. Extreme long-range shooters may prefer something with a longer barrel, or the 6.5 Creedmoor model. The biggest advantages are completely configurable, amazing trigger, integrated optic rail, m loc attachment points, 10-round magazine. There are however few disadvantages, 20-inch barrel is not ideal for super long-range shooting. Barrel is not free-floated. Lewis Machine and Tool MWS Sharpshooter. Tactical Semi-Automatic .308 Rifle Lewis Machine and Tool calls the Lewis Machine and Tool MWS Sharpshooter a modular weapon system, it's built around two main ideas, configurability and stability. Let's talk about stability first. The upper receiver and handguard are milled from a single block of aluminum. So, the entire upper receiver, from end to end, is a single piece. This makes the platform incredibly rigid for milking as much accuracy as you can get from the barrel. The barrel itself is 16 inches long and fitted with a flash hider. Since this is a .308 rifle, a muzzle brake would be better. But the flash hider is a quality muzzle device. All the furniture, the grip and the stock, is from Bravo Company Manufacturing. The grip is contoured nicely and encourages a good, high shooting grip. The stock features battery storage tubes that also function as cheek rests. All the internals are covered in a proprietary dry lubrication coating for reliability and cryogenically treated for durability. So, far, reports are that both the coating and the treatment do their job. The two-stage trigger group provides a steady press for both fast and slow shooting, and the rifle comes with flip-up sights. The sights are probably the weakest aspect of the rifle. They work, but they're minimal, and clearly designed to be backup sights. It's not really a weak point, but some of the parts, like the straight gas tube, are proprietary. So, you'll need to get certain replacement parts from Lewis Machine and Tool. One last thing, this model comes with a 20-round magazine. Pretty standard for a .308 carbine. All in all, this is an outstanding option for anyone who wants a tactical semi-automatic .308 that can work as a short-range tactical platform or as a designated marksman rifle. The biggest advantages are monolithic upper receiver and handguard, comfortable grip and stock, high-quality parts coating and durability treatment, excellent trigger. There are however few disadvantages, flip-up sights are dedicated backups, some proprietary parts, flash hider isn't as good as a muzzle brake. So, if you've been eyeing a .308 rifle, now you've got all the gritty details to get out there and pull the trigger. Grab the rifle that suits you and pop off a few rounds from the bench. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit the subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.